Welcome into another edition of Football Frenzy. I'm Carl Jones. That handsome fellow over there is AJ Feldman. The playoffs are finally here in Section 5, and if it's anything like the regular season, we're in for in some big games, some great storylines, and some wild finishes. We start off the night in Class AA, where the Knights were looking to start their run to a four-peat, taking on Rush Henrietta. The Royal Commons entered the playoffs on a four-game losing streak, but they came out swinging. Second quarter, 7-0 RH as Robert Poles Harrison doubles up the score with an eight-yard touchdown. Uh-oh, upset alert, baby. Ensuing kickoff, Gabe Zawalo is going to field the kick and say, you know what, Knights, it's time to turn this thing up. He tells that defender, get up off me, and now it's just him and the kicker. AJ, I don't know about you. I don't know if the kicker has a chance. We'll see. Oh, that, that's filthy. Come on, my man. You ain't had to do all that. 85 yards to the house. That makes it 14-7. McQuay will get the ball back to tight at 14. Then the next play for the Royal Comets. Nice force of fumble. Swallow scoops and scores to take a 21-14 lead. That's 21 points in just two minutes for the Knights. Then in the second half, John Harding gets the rock and cruises his way into the pay dirt. He finished with four touchdowns on the day as McQuay. They get the comeback win tonight, 49 to 21. They get the winner of the 2-7 matchup. Victor hosting Aquinas. Start of the fourth, Blue Devils up 14 to six, knocking on the doorstep. Brady Robinson finds Adam Ruffalo for the touchdown. Victor up 21-6, but Aquinas looking to stay in it. They're in Blue Devil territory. C.J. Robinson stopped at the line, squirts his way through. 31 yards to the house, PAT good, Irish down just eight points. AQ gets the ball back after a fourth down stop, and this is where things get a little controversial. Ben Newman looking, looking, gonna start to scramble, gonna start a slide, gets sandwiched by two defenders, ball comes flying, no flag, they say play on. That was Aquinas' best chance to tie it up. Time winding down on fourth down, Chris Palmieri, exclamation point. Victor wins, 28-13, they will take on the McQuaid Knights. Victor, lucky they're not playing the NFL, but that's the easy find. Heading to the city where you prep put their undefeated record on the line against Fairport. Late third, Griffin's up 37-20. If you've never seen a video game play in real life, Darius Poles got you covered. That's one, two, guys. Get up off of him. Whoop! Gets a little Whoop. juke right there, and oh, lordy, he's looking like Bo Jackson in the Tecmo Bowl. That makes it 45-20. Then less than a minute left in the third, Noah Hill is going to drop back and throw a beauty as Poles runs up under it for the touchdown. You threat rolls in the second half as they secure the win, 52 to 20. You're not allowed to play with Bo Jackson. They're lucky they didn't take him off the field there. They will get either Pittsburgh or Penfield. Panther pe band trying to hype up the home squad. Second quarter, Panthers up 14-0, looking to punch in another, but Alex Young with a great strip. Patriots recover, they get the stand, but they would have to punt it away, and well, they punt it to Jackson Green, and that's a problem, folks. He takes it 73 yards to the house, the great return. Panthers finally healthy, and they looked good tonight. They win 35-8. 4-5 matchup in Class A-2. Brockport taking on Ron McCoy. Three minutes left in the second. Game tied at 21. IQ on the move, but Tyler Judd says it's a no-fly zone his way as he picks off the pass. They're on the ensuing drive. Landon Scott, our player of the week, throws it hot to Nathan Parker who takes this all the way to the 25. Scott, Scott will later punch it in to put the Blue Devils up seven. Then fourth quarter now, Eagles looking to tie things up for Braden Spencer. He's patrolling center field like he's been watching some, I don't know, Micah Hyde or Jordan Poyer tape. The senior sets up Blue Devils with great field position. Then a few plays later, on fourth and short, Scott is gonna bulldoze his way into the paint for the score. That makes it a two-score game. Brockport, they hold on for the win, 34 the 21. They would take on the winner of the East Wilson City Showdown, one versus eight. Second quarter, Eagles taking care of business. Anthony Diaz in the Wildcat reversing field. Now, if we had the fancy graphics, they would track how far he ran. I'll just tell you, he ran a really long way. That made it 26 nothing. Later in the quarter, going to the air, Zymir Jackson, he can sling it. Irvin Wiggins, kick and catch. East rolls, they win 50 to eight, and they will take on the Blue Devils. Let's head out to Greece, where Athena took on Eastridge. And if you took the over in this game, hit in the second quarter. Two minutes left in the half on fourth and goal. Jaden Rapp hits Byron Williams in the flat to put the Trojans on top 35 to 28. But the Lancers, they have an answer. Brennan Russo finds his right-hand man, Lua Mozan, on a screen. He picks up 16 yards on the play. Then later on the drive, Russo is going to fake the spike and throw it up top to Jaden Gamble, who says, 
give me that. This one went down to the wire with the Lancers kicking the game-winning field goal as time expired. They win 50 to 48. They have a date with Canadagua in the semifinals. Not even basketball season yet. In Class C, Manny Sepulveda and the ERG Bombers hosting Line Sodas. He became Section 5's all-time receptions leader in this game. We go to the third quarter. Bombers up 22-0. Lions deep in their own territory. Britton Delmadoros comes up with a sack that led to a punt. Bombers trying to cash in, but Alexander Chase had other ideas. Snatches that one for the interception. However, the Bomber defense held strong as they pitched a shutout. And on the ensuing drive, C.D. Sneed, you want to talk about determination, drive, keeping your feet going. He's just not going to be stopped until the referees say stop. Bombers win 38-0. They'll get top-seeded Leroy in the semis. Ooh, I love the runs like that. And wrapping things up in Class A1, Hilton playing host to Gates Chilai. First drive of the game for the Spartans. Facing a third and long, Josiah Lane cuts it up fields and, yeah. Good luck catching him. 79 yards to the crib. Gase Chilai takes a early 6-0 lead. Hilton will kick a field goal on the following drive to cut the lead in half. Then we go to the second quarter. Colton Thorpe calls his own number and barrels his way into the end zone for six. Hilton, they step on the gas from there as they win 45-14. They'll take on Brighton in the semifinals. Coming up after the break, the Orange look to bounce back at home against Notre Dame. And the Amherst try and get revenge from last year's playoff loss. But first, here's Playmore Section 5 playoff scores. tonight on Football Frenzy. No show tomorrow because the other sports around Section 5 take center stage. That's right. Bricks are on the line in field hockey and soccer. We will have you covered with all the sectional championship coverage that you can handle. We will be back next week with the sectional semifinals in football and even some state tournament bids already on the line thanks to this year's class tournament, state tournament layout. Well, we'll get into that later when we hope you join us for the best high school football coverage around. For A.J. Feldman, I'm Carl Jones. Have a great rest of your night, and we'll see you next time.